Hi everyone! I hope everyone is having a great new year. It is 2021 and I am so excited. So one of you guys asked me how did I find a job after hygiene school? what to look for and especially if you're in the Chicagoland area or if you're in any big city uh, what to look for when you're looking for a practice to work in when you're looking for your new job when you're looking for your new dental home and I'm gonna go over my experience so I'm gonna read the question out loud I was wondering if you would ever do a YouTube video talking about your experience getting a job after hygiene school. I live in California, but I'm considering to live in New York City or Chicago, possibly. IDK, apply for jobs in different states, feeling overwhelmed. I'm trying to start looking into these things and have an idea what to expect. As I'm gonna talk about how I got a job and what I did um, after hygiene school. So during hygiene school, I was working at a dental practice in the city of Chicago. Uh, I was not working in the suburbs. I actually have never worked in the suburbs. I've done temp jobs in the suburbs, but I've never fully committed to a job in the suburbs. I think the demographic in the suburbs is very, very different than the city demographic. And I just prefer the city demographic versus uh, the suburb dem demographic. Um, so I worked at this dental practice as I did their marketing and branding for a very long time. And I did it all throughout hygiene school as well. So after I became a hygienist, I wanted obviously a position at that office. Um, and so luckily they had a spot open for another hygienist to come in and work and um, they offered me the position. My first initial thoughts was I already knew how this practice worked. I knew all of the hygienists. I knew that everyone was really, really supportive. So, so I know I talked about this in my first video. Um, luckily one of my sisters is a hygienist and her roommate actually worked at the practice with me so she helped me a lot but what i tell all of my new graduates and and people message me all the time nervous about starting a new job is you've been doing this for so long like you had this is not your first day cleaning teeth you've been learning about it you've been studying it's just to go into your first job with confidence and not the confidence that you're like boasting like you know so much but confidence that you do know what you're doing and you and you do have a license to do this right so i think that's very important i think it's very normal on your first couple of weeks to feel really really nervous and to feel uncertain but looking for a practice to work for so like i said i had already known this practice um, i knew everyone who worked there and everyone was really really supportive so i knew i wanted to start there when you look for a practice, there are many things to look for. Number one, so if you went to a school where all of, everything was up to date, you had the newest ultrasonic, you had all of these cool things, you had an air polisher, you want to look for that in a practice, right? So if you're used to using newer technology and looking for a practice who invests not only in their practice, but in what they use, and they're not just using things that have been around for a long time because granted all of those work but there are a lot of new things that are being introduced that might work a little bit better look for a practice that not only invests in the practice but they invest in their employees too and that might be difficult to find at first you might not understand how the practice works and i think having good intuition is very important too but when you go on your interview if the dentist or or the office manager seems like really happy and outgoing and um you know everybody seems to get along if you do working interviews and everybody seems to be getting along really well and it's a team environment i think practicing hygiene even though you're by yourself it's very important to have a team around you to help you and and one thing when you go into practice if you haven't started practicing hygiene yet is you always want to be a team player because you will need the help of an assistant you will need the help of your front desk you will need the you know the help of your office manager you will need the help of your dentist and it's being a team player to all of these people so it's really finding basically a friend so when you interview with your office manager in the back of your head think could i be this person's friend do I mesh well with this person's personality? And again, at first it might be tough to decide, but don't just take a job just because you need a job. You wanna be happy at your job so that you perform the best that you can perform. You don't wanna be unhappy or in an environment that's toxic and people are constantly putting you down. Okay, sorry guys, my battery was exhausted. She was tired like me. So back to what I was saying about looking for a dental practice. So you really wanna look for a place where 
you can become a team player and it's not always being people's best friends you might be the type who just goes to work to work or you might be the type who works a lot and you want to enjoy the people you work with and you work around so my suggestion is do a lot of interviews in the beginning because the worst thing you want to do is jump around especially in your early stages of practicing hygiene not only are you stressed out because you just graduated your new you're, you're in a new environment, you're not in school anymore, but now you have to look for another place to work. So really take your time and understand yourself and what you are looking for. I worked with a dentist not too long ago actually, who was very um, misogynistic and didn't really like women to disagree with him. He was the kind of dentist where you had to ask everything before you did it can i probe is this probing right can you check this i personally my style of practicing hygiene does not work well with that it wasn't a it wasn't a great position for me and i really wasn't happy there don't sell yourself short something that's really cool about working in a big city is there are so many dental practices to work for there are so many dentists who are looking for a rock star hygienist i have seen so many great offices who are just doing everything really, really good and who really value their hygienists, their assistants, their office managers, their dentists, their associate dentists. They, they, they really value everybody. I've also seen practices who, who don't value their hygienists, their assistants, anyone on the team. They just value themselves and they're just really, and, it, and you will see that so quickly in the dental field. And I hate saying anything bad about dentistry, but th that is a dark side of dentistry. These corrupt, dental practices, right? And I'm, and it's not just, a lot of people put a bad stigma on corporate dentistry, but it's not only corporate dentistry, it could be private practice, it could be anything. So that's why I always tell people is just research the practice before you work there. Talk to people when you're there for your working interview. Um, ask them questions, see how they feel, right? See how they react in certain situations. Are they happy to be there? You wanna work around really positive people people who are team players. And I think that's really important to look for is just positivity, a growing environment. I think that's what I look for now, working for any company, working not only in the dental field, but working with anyone. Having an environment where you feel comfortable working and just really working in an environment of collaboration. And being a hygienist, you have one side of dentists. There are dentists who love and respect you and who totally understand that your job is worth it and they, they love their hygienist. Then there's a dark side of it of dentists who do not. They, and, and that's just the truth, you guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything on here. There are some, not all, the majority of dentists love their hygienists. They respect them. The majority of people that I've worked for respect their hygienists, but there's also a dark side to any business where, where people are not respected. People are treated poorly. The last thing I want to end this video with is find your happy. And for me, for a long time, I thought this one place was my happy and I was gonna grow, but my happy was creating something for myself and bettering myself first before I help better others because another thing that I haven't mentioned, is you should give a lot of yourself to your work, okay? You should give yourself to your work. You should never give all of yourself to your work. And I think I was in a position at one point in my life where I gave all of myself to my work and I kind of lost myself. And I lost myself in the mix of what other people were telling me to do. So I had to just stop for a second, leave where I was at to find out who I wanted to become. And I have found my happy within myself. You don't wanna lose yourself giving, you know, working, 80, 90 hours a week for people who don't appreciate you. So understand that you should give yourself all of you first and then give a little bit to work, give a little bit to family, give a little bit to friends, but you really have to love yourself and love where you're at and really find you're happy. And I think that is very important. If you enjoy practicing hygiene seven days a week and you love your practice, you should do that. But if you enjoy practicing hygiene three days a week and you want to do graphic design on the side or you like doing makeup or you, whatever it is, just find you're happy. And if it's not all in one place, you're not doing anything wrong. It is okay not to love hygiene all the time. It is also okay to love hygiene all the time. Um, it's okay to take a break from practicing hygiene and work on something else. These are all okay and it's just making sure that your inner self is happy and content where you're at. I have gone through the journey and um, 
I have been there where you give yourself to a practice, to a brand for so long and you give so much of yourself and you don't feel appreciated at the end of the day. But it's all about moving forward, moving on, reinventing yourself, I think is really important. It's like get out of toxic places. If your work environment is toxic, F that place. And yeah, <laughs> that is my, in short term, how to look for a dental practice, what to look for my experience in finding dental practices to work for. I am coming out with a new series. It should be up pretty soon. I'm gonna start filming it maybe today or tomorrow. So it's gonna be really awesome and I'm excited to share it with you guys. And let me know if you guys have any other questions or if you guys want me to create any other content, drop a comment below or you guys can DM me on Instagram. Thank you all for watching my videos. <laughs> I know this is gonna take me like seven hours to edit, so. I gotta go. Okay, bye guys. I hope everyone has a really good day, morning, whatever time it is. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.